What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to another live episode of Call of Cthulhu. We're back in this little tiny warehouse here. And, um, yeah, we're looking for a way into the warehouse. The hidden... Okay, hang on. Is that thing, like, flashing when there's something nearby? It looks like there's a way in under this grate. Oh. When I walk by, maybe? Okay. So when I walk by something... I could use this old winch to lift the grating. Maybe. But it's been completely taken to bits. Damn it. There must be some spare parts amid all this clutter. Mm-hmm. So we're looking for a spare part. <laughs> this handle will be perfect for the winch. Damn right it will be. Welcome back to you two, Mr. Tumbler. Enables heavy loads to be lifted and held aloft without risk. A ratchet device. Exactly nice. what I need. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 what's this? A whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. Whoa, cool. Okay, anything else around? Don't think so. Nope. Alright, let's go up, put the parts together. Missing something. What am I missing? I think I need like a weight or something. Cogwheel. It should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. Uh, how do I put my lighter away? Dude, put the lighter away. There it is. All that's left is to try to turn this handle. Damn, I broke it. <laughs> um. Okay. So the only way we could get in and he breaks it. Way to go, buddy. Can we do anything else down here? No. Why'd you have to go break it, man? Oh, wait. I know. Hang on. Right here with this thing. Can we use this? Damn. kidding me I think that check mark says we have everything that we can well well a little mouse has got lost on our turf you're not only inquisitive you're also stupid what gave you the crazy idea to come onto my turf 
Um, I'm not saying a damn thing, you little witch. I thought you were cute. Has the cat got your tongue? You no. come for a fight. What I've got to say won't change a thing. You're a quick learner. I decide who comes in and who stays out. And anyone who doesn't respect my rules, I punish them. Um. Is your name Cat? What of it? Maybe we can come to an understanding. Maybe. Or maybe not. Uh oh. She just need me in the balls. What the hell would you do that? Get this Joker out of here. He might have a little trouble walking on his own. Hey, just need me in the balls. What's up, freaky? Oh, freaky, 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 freaky. I'm getting careless. I didn't see that coming. You should have. If I want to get into this warehouse, she's I'm short. Deal with her. Well, she, okay, I can't say she's short because the average, I think, Canadian woman is five foot four inches. So, um, maybe she's average height. <laughs> but she's smaller in stature than me, okay? So, leave me alone. Okay, we gotta find a way in here. What about this dude? Hey, what's up, bro? Where do you think you're going? Mm hmm Just gonna go touch myself in the privacy of your warehouse? Um. Yeah. I thought that the Hawkins case had been closed. That's true. So, what are you doing on guard duty in front of this warehouse? Who's asking the questions here, the cop or the tourist? Uh, who are these others so interested in the warehouse? And why would I tell you? Because you like me and I'm very pretty. Um, I'd like to know more about the Hawkins case. I don't think so. What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. Yeah. The whole mansion went up in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's dangerous. What do you mean by that? The yeah. only one left there is old Silas. Ooh. And the accident has affected him badly. He can be unpredictable. Especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? Who the hell is Silas? No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor. Leave him well alone. Maybe I don't want to. Okay. Let's go back to the, the bar. Or maybe we'll check out these two guys right here. Or wait, can we grab that? Ah, oh, it's not a bottle of booze we can take. Hey, what's up? We're no longer at home on our own island. No. Oh. Calm down. It's not worth the effort. I told him that flunky that he'll see what a real sailor has in his belly. If you continue like that, everyone will see what you've got in your belly. Well, I hope so. I hope they don't forget the lesson. Me? I'm not scared of some girl. I mean, they're going to cut you open, you idiot. Calm down. to treat us like this. You got to.
You again. What can I get you? What do you know about the Hawkins warehouse? If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises, screams. Scream. And that's not but anything. Let's say I want to buy a bottle from you. Choice is yours. Everything's on sale. How much for a bottle of whiskey? Five dollars. I guess I'm not desperate. I'm not judging you. That'll be all for now. No, I muted myself. I was doing, um, someone's trying to get me a pair of sunglasses, and I'm looking at pictures and shit. But I'm back. I'm back, and I got booze. So, have you got what we asked you for? Look what I've got. ba -ba You're a good guy, you. No prohibition for dark water achievement. Follow me. Um, all right. <coughs> Uh -oh. I don't feel well. Hey, where are I'll you hide. going? Say that again. I hope for your sake that I didn't hear. No, no, it's not what you think. Ha ha ha. Alright, so is this where we need to be? Oops. Let's see. Right. Can we do this one like we did last time? Perfect. Yeah, it's hard to oh, um this place stinks. Purchase glasses like she showed me a picture of like What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? Oh. Why do I have Oh, phew. Okay. So reconstruction mode. Whoa. Okay. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Okay, is this reconstruction? Hang on. Can I go back into reconstruction mode? Because there were so many more things. Oh, cool. That's how I can lean, too. Boom, 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 boom. Now, she sent me a picture of, like, 30 glasses, and I'm trying to pick one. And I was like, okay, hey, it's the ones on the middle row on the right-hand side at the bottom. <laughs> Mono lens. And she's like these ones and took a picture of like no and I was like these ones and I had to circle it on the picture <laughs> and then send her back the picture that she sent 
and oddly enough actually those were the ones that she picked up for me I was like you got great taste I think we're good though <gasps> so she's angry I don't think there's anything else here what has she been doing fish heads and fish parts Someone has settled in here. Uh oh. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? You! Don't move! Well, I'm not moving. You again. I told you to stay away from this warehouse. Um. Uh. Yeah, let's try psychology. It's clear that you knew the victims. I'm sorry to dig up bad memories. I can still see the poor child lying burned on the floor of their drawing room. We had to tear him off. The oh. marks must still be there. They're in my mind anyway. It's horrendous. I'm going to need your experience to bring him justice, Officer Brett. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car is parked down the way. Oh, Man, yeah, baby. Would you please shut the door? Open your eyes. Guy went right under your nose. <laughs> God damn Teaming it. up with the cops like this. Aw oh, man. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Yeah. Officer Bradley. You've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. You doesn't look that Why fat. You? Come on. Keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? I thought I'd straightened you out, mister. I am disappointed, but we'll meet again. Yeah, and I'll cut you a new asshole. Is it far, this mansion? <laughs> what? She's being me? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? Oh, man, that looks That's awesome. the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. Oh, a strange high house. Pierce managed to get into the warehouse. The place thought to be abandoned revealed some surprise and signs of recent occupation, as well as a partly charred painting. Interrupted by his, or in his searching by Officer Bradley, Pierce convinced him to join his investigation. The police officer is willing to drive the detective to the Hawkins mansion. Let's enter some more madness. I wonder what, or if he'll come with us. But I wonder what exactly went down in here. Well, here we are, Hawkins Mansion. Dude, if this fire only happened recently, why does it look so horrible? The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Mm hmm. Uh. Spot hidden professional? can't do that uh, yeah you're not your the first. partner Andrews warned me against him you managed to get something out of that bomb <laughs> I'll end up asking you for advice <laughs> nice. he talks too much he inferred that old Silas was slightly unhinged that's not far off the mark I suppose but kind of unfair at the same time you know 
Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. Yeah. Now he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way, he's still watching over them. Oh, isn't Is there that else sweet? you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? No, I want to ask you some more questions, dude. I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. <laughs> right? Welcome back, Tumblr. Um... You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? Uh... I don't believe the fire is the only reason this house is in such a state. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. Ha! Huh. You've already begun to nose around, it would seem. A little bit. So, since you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. Uh. It remains to be seen what they did with all their money. I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. Mm, can't do that one. All right. Night falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. All right. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. Holy crap, don't don't leave me. Dude, I was scared. How dare you leave me like that, man? Hey. Where are we going? Are we there yet? My legs are getting tired. Ugh, more stairs. Uh oh. That's never a good side, dude. Blackbirds means death. Oh. Someone must really hate Charles Hawkins. I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, Detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Um... Do you know if Charles Hawkins had any enemies? Not to our knowledge. He was a well-respected personality on the island. I don't understand. Silas would never have let such a thing happen. Maybe it was Silas. Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. Hmm. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? said that he devastated hmm let's go to the mansion please give me a minute I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial what kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary and steal a burnt painting I don't see Silas doing such a thing let alone allowing it mm-hmm that broad baker would love that Lord Yeah, poor family. Poor kid. Okay. Oh. Sarah 
Hawkins. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. Are we good, buddy? Can we go? Someone must really hate Trump. Yeah. Okay. What you looking at? Or something, anything else here? Oops, sorry, I'm stepping on the kid's grave. Uh, maybe it was an a jerk like me. <laughs> I laid me down and slept. I have wait for the Lord, sustained. Sustained NW Psalms twenty three or whatever. So I guess the cop just bails on me. Okay, the game has been saved. And I think that's where we're gonna call the episode. Oh my god, cliffhanger right before we go into the mansion. What an awesome beginning to the game. Everybody on YouTube, thank you for watching. Everybody on Twitch, just hang out for a few seconds, and I'll be right back. Take care.